What's up guys, welcome to Cannabis Review TV. We're out here in nature today on the lake and I'm gonna give you guys a beautiful scenic strain review today. Smoking on the Agent Orange. Just wanna start the video off here, show you guys some footage of this beautiful spot that I just hiked to. Absolutely gorgeous, right outside the crib here. Wonderful. What's up guys, Cannabis Review TV coming at you with a scenic strain review outdoors here on top of the glacier. We're gonna be taking a look at the Agent Orange. Uh, this was bred by TJ Subcool Seeds and I picked up this strain from StrainWise during their $8 eighth deals. Uh, the Agent Orange is one of the nicer strains at StrainWise. Always comes through the pleasant aroma. So if there's anything kinda iffy on the shelf, it's the one I usually pick because uh, it's consistent every time I pick it up. So let's get in here and review some Agent Orange for you guys out here on this beautiful lake, man. Take a look at some footage I filmed on the way over here from the glacier and just the hike up here. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love it up here. It's only nice about four months out of the year, but those four months are paradise, man. It's worth it. I love it. So yeah, we're out here in nature getting ready to spark up a bowl. Got the Chubbler Bubbler ready to go for the video today, nice and clean. I've actually broken all my other flower pieces. This is my last flower piece, but I love it, man. It's got water filtration and it's portable. This is my number one piece to bring it to nature. If you guys want to know how to score yourself a Chubbler Bubbler, uh, check out the link down below. Head over to glassprodigy.com and look up their bubbler section. Yeah, they got these for like 30 bucks, man. They kill it. All right, so getting right into it. <sighs> Some of the Agent Orange. This is a cross of the Orange Velvet, which was gifted to Miss Jill a while ago. She sprinkles that on a lot of the, the TGA subcool crosses with Jack the Ripper, uh, which is a Jack Hare phenotype. It has a bright kind of citrusy smell to it. The Orange Velvet obviously bringing in a nice crisp orange scent, and that's what you smell when you smell into this Agent Orange. The name itself is a little provocative, I know. Has nothing to do with Monsanto or the chemicals uh, used during the Vietnam War. Just um, probably a preference. Subcool probably like the name. Oh, wow, but that's how you know you got a good cut of Agent Orange. It should always smell bright uh, and pungent, like pungent orange zest in your jar, man. Uh, just that, the loudest, brightest orange chirp you can imagine. Taking a look at these nugs here, you guys can see a nice bud structure, not terribly frosty or covered in uh, trichomes, but it's there, especially when you break it up. Uh, very zesty orange pistols, man. These are burnt orange, very dark. Reminds me of the green crack. Uh, has a lighter green color to itself, the, the bud structure. Uh, the calyxes coming out fat. You kind of see that remnants of the Jack the Ripper right there with those fingers sticking off. Um, yeah, man. Oh, wow. Uh, just nice, big, beautiful bud structure. Tight buds, too. They, they form a nice, tight cola. Uh, so let's go in here and break one of these up and start smoking on it. Get into the sweet flavor. We'll get into the smell a little bit more, and then we'll talk about the medicating effect. So we'll pull this fat butt out right here and chop it into the chubbler for you guys. Take just the tip here, break off the tip. Oh, nice crunch to a beautiful cure. Moist inside, but still dry on the outside. Picking up a little bit stronger on those uh, zesty orange scents. Some strains when you crack them in half, they really start to stink and other ones it's uh, you know the same as what you get in the jar and that's kind of the deal here at the Agent Orange just uh, maintains that zesty orange spice got my trusty lighter here cheers guys
It's a little windy today, bear with me. As a pungent first effect, um, if you haven't smoked all day, but it's not really anything too heavy. It's not gonna, you know, take you right out of your chair, or sink you back into your couch. It's a mild strain. It's a strain that I could smoke on from sun up to sundown, 24/7. If you're just cheating constantly, this is the strain to do it. You never get really too burnt out or anything like that. It just has this nice, pleasant. Uh, euphoric sativa dominant middle of the ground kind of a hybrid effect where you feel it in your body you feel it in the chest you feel some of that comfortable kind of heaviness but you also feel it in the mind with that racing soaring expansion um, and like I said not too racy it's not too much man you can enjoy this throughout the day constantly a great work strain cheers As far as the flavor goes, definitely uh, orange zest all the way through, man. Uh, you should get that orange flavor, that orange terpene profile, even on the last toke. Um, if not, you didn't get a good cut of Agent Orange because that orange is just so evident, man. Um, very rarely do you find a strain where you can do a blind taste test and just know right off the bat what strain it is. This. You can do a blind taste test. It won't taste like tangy. It won't taste like some of the other ones. You definitely know. I got some Agent Orange in the pipe. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <coughs> some potent stuff, man. I like it. Uh, the Agent Orange is one of my favorite strains in the strain-wise category. Category. Catalog, I meant to say. Um... I like their green crack, their bordello, their agent orange, and um, those are the top three. And then they have a really good, uh, like the, the OJ Legends. OG, every now and then they'll get something fired through there or uh, something uplifting with the sour diesel. But yeah, those are the top three recommended choices from Strainwise. This is their Agent Orange. Highly recommend this strain. Highly, highly recommended here on Cannabis Review TV. We don't give uh, strains any scores or anything like that. We don't break it down in detail. We just let you guys know if it's recommended or not or whether I'd buy it again or not. And I definitely would buy this. Definitely would purchase this if I seen it on the shelf at Strainwise. Um, has the CRTV, CRTV seal of recommendation. I actually went in and bought a whole entire ounce last time I was there when they had the $8.8 .8 special. Bought an ounce for like 75 bucks. And it was worth it, man. It was definitely worth it. As you guys could see from the, the close-ups back at the shop that I brought you guys in the video today, they look good, man. I fired buds, so cheers to that. Thoroughly medicated, by the way. Nice little wake and bake session here in the lake. I like coming out here and smoking before work. My usual ritual. And uh, now that I got a camcorder again, I'll bring you guys along for the smoking. I love it. Oh, man. Sucks though in the winter time. It gets hella cold up here, man. Hella cold. Jeez. Agent Orange, man. This is uh, one of my favorite outdoor strains, too, if you can have such a thing. Uh, when I talk about an outdoor strain, it's one that uh, I could smoke on, but still be physically active and enjoy recreating and doing some things like some other strains or some other heavier, more potent delivery methods of cannabis, man. I'd smoke and I just want to go lay down or peace out or watch a movie. I'm just like, oh, I'm done. I'm baked in the sun. I don't feel like being outside. So those strains are indoor strains to me, strains. Uh, where you're just chilling and doing your thing, but if you're outside working or exercising or riding your bike or just getting it, I like those outdoor strains, man. Those ones that kind of 
you know, keep you going. It's a, it's a difference between chamomile tea and yerba mate, you know what I'm saying? So, cheers to that. Agent Orange, Strain Review, official take, Cannabis Review TV, strain-wise, highly recommended. For sure pick this up if you see it on the shelf. Cheers, guys.